A week ago, I brought my wife to check out The Bodyguard starring Deborah Cox, and I enjoyed it so much that I actually brought my daughter to come see it. You ready to go see it, Taylor? Yeah. All right, let's go check it out. for the show. Now, did you see the actual movie, The Bodyguard? Kevin Costner plays Frank Farmer, a former Secret Service agent who knows how to guard U.S. presidents. But Rachel Marin, played by Whitney Houston, is a different kind of pill to swallow, as Frank finds out when he takes the job as her bodyguard. Rachel has a certain way she runs her lifestyle, and she doesn't want Frank's security methods to interrupt anything. What do you want from my life? I want to be able to eat brunch with my friends. Frank has a tough road ahead. Sometimes you can be trying to save someone who doesn't know how badly they need to be saved. Rachel didn't want to let go of her old way of thinking and feeling secure. But what she didn't realize was that her old way was no longer working for her. Her family was threatened and she was resistant to the idea of a new bodyguard interfering with her old ways of doing things, especially when she was right on the heels of additional success. And even though Rachel didn't start off trusting Frank, she soon learned that he was experienced, knew what he was talking about, and had a different way of seeing things. Kind of reminds me of the difference in our perspectives from God's. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. We have to be delivered from our past, whether it's people or old ways of thinking, in order to truly come into our destiny or our true healing. It reminds me of the blind man who was healed by Jesus. The people that he had been around in the synagogue were uncomfortable with this healing. And because they wanted to deem Jesus a sinner, they didn't want Jesus to get credit for healing the man who had been blind since birth. They kept asking that man over and over how he got healed until he got frustrated. Why, that's very strange, the man replied. He healed my eyes and yet you don't know where he comes from. We know that God doesn't listen to sinners, but he is ready to hear those who worship him and do his will. Ever since the world began, no one has been able to open the eyes of someone born blind. If this man were not from God, he couldn't have done it. You were born a total sinner, they answered. Are you trying to teach us? And they threw him out of the synagogue. So once this man was rejected by the synagogue folks, that's when he had a chance to encounter Jesus again. Sometimes you have to be rejected by who and what you are depending on so that you can truly be embraced. When Jesus heard what happened, he found the man and asked, do you believe in the son of man? The man answered, Who is he, sir? I want to believe in him. You have seen him, Jesus said, and he is speaking to you. Yes, Lord, I believe, the man said, and he worshiped Jesus. Are there some mental concepts that you need to change in order to arrive where you're trying to go? From a relationship standpoint, are you holding on to someone that you need to let go? Holding on to the past often hampers our ability to enter into our future. And we're uncomfortable a lot of times with letting things go, but you need to let it go so that that new, fresh thing or person can feel free to come into your life. And even though they may look or feel or think differently, they might just be the hero that you need. Remember, he is able to do exceeding, abundantly, above and beyond all you can think or imagine according to the power that works in us. We get our power from him. I'll see you next time.